we have an absolute mountain of rumors information speculation all to go through today we have games workshop teasing the space wolves we have a new fact right on the cards for games workshop which could lead into a big rumor that i've been hearing about and it looks like the first little movements on the next potential big 40k game is happening so let's jump in and let's get waffling so let's jump over to this screen and we can go through all the information all the speculations and rumors and everything like that and i'm starting with the instagram stuff posted by the official warhammer account itself you can see the little caption it says this is one amaze sorry this is one grizzled looking dude how long has it been since logan grimnar took off his armor now for the average warhammer fan it's just them talking about logan grimnar but no this is the start brothers right this is the ice that forms the avalanche i'm telling you right now this is the build-up for the space wolf refresh for those people who haven't been following my channel wondering what the hell i'm rambling about last edition ninth edition towards the end of it i heard a big rumor a rumor i actually didn't trust that said in 10th edition you're going to get a dark angel refresh a blood angel refresh and a space wolf refresh now we've already had the dark angel and the blood angel right i say refresh you know things got new models and stuff like that and i've been hearing about some big things that are supposed to be happening now with the space wolves so big like people well i say people the whispers of the warp um have been saying to me potentially this is going to be bigger than the emperor's children um refresh new line which is going to be happening next year as well there's a lot of massive things happening for 40k in terms of model releases next year you have got the eldar um, you have got the new plastic krieg um the emperor's children space wolves apparently are dropping next year as well so for me i'm taking this as the first big tease from games workshop themselves to try and get some hype around the space wolves eventual release i'm wondering around christmas time december time the winter time well from you know december january stuff like that and we got to get some more like winter teases with the space wolves they always do like um a calendar and stuff like that the last calendar they did if i'm not mistaken was the dark angel stuff so maybe they're gonna jump to another chapter or maybe it might be something like um uh, the empress children or krieg or something like that but i'm looking forward now to what's ahead for model releases for space marines trust me this one it has the potential to be wild logan grim now without his sled right surrounded by wolves on a base that's what i'm hearing it's about to get full moon and moving on from the space wolves let's talk about the actual games workshop factory because some big news happened over the past week about them expanding the factory adding more facilities which could lead into another rumor that i've been hearing about so this has been reported by the nottinghamshire live and this is all about games workshop expanding its factory site uh, the thing i've highlighted here is the most important thing the most in important city employer which boasted a record breaking 494 million uh, pound in revenue early this year that is a lot of plastic uh previously unveiled plans to build a nine million pound factory that factory was a packing factory uh where games workshop can you know do all the boxes themselves at this moment in time um if i'm not mistaken it's out to a third party and it's been delivered to them they want to put everything on their site they kind of want to make like the games workshop campus they want to be like manchester city um but you know they can't do that because we're the champions of england um it has now additionally asked uh, nottingham city council for permission to set up a facility which will supply paint for tens of millions of plastic parts manufactured um, at its three factories um now the big thing i'm hearing about this if this well i'm not saying if this goes through but this could link up to something bigger that i've heard in the rumorverse and that is with a brand new paint range by games workshop now i'm not sure if the the name of this is right but this paint range i'm hearing is supposed to be aimed at the more experienced painter okay so this is probably going to be like a a, a pros range or something like that like the things i've heard with this is apparently that games workshop want to go into dropper bottles and that type of stuff so yeah i can definitely see this paint factory being a big thing and the rumors around this whole brand new paint range happening with games workshop the way that games workshop is going they are an absolute massive company 
in the UK. A lot of people don't believe this when I say it, but they are bigger than the UK fishing agency, right? Literally, we are an island surrounded by fish and Games Workshop is bigger than that. That's how much money this company is making. And for those people who drive down to Warhammer World, you'll know like over the past five to 10 years, how much Games Workshop's site has changed. Like the parking areas, all the factories around them are slowly being bought out by Games Workshop just so they can acquire more land and build more warehouses and facilities for their ever expanding range of Games Workshop models. So yeah. Um, I can definitely see this happening. I think it will be a good thing for um, 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 Nottingham because it adds more jobs, right? It adds more um, uh, to the economy in the area. So I definitely think the council will approve it and they probably will be getting a brand new paint factory added to their roster of other factories in the area. And lastly, let's talk about brand new Warhammer 40,000 video games. It's been a hell of a ride so far for 40k video games with the release of Space Marine 2, which has now been confirmed to have sold over 4.5 million copies. That is massive for 40k. Absolutely huge. Like we're talking like an iconic game at this point for um, the 40k community. And the rumors and the talk and stuff now is swirling around the potential next big product that is going to be happening for Warhammer 40,000. Of course, we've been talking about this now for years. I remember making my first video on this probably two, three, three and a half years ago when I first heard that Creative Assembler had gone to Games Workshop and they agreed on a license for a Warhammer 40k product or should, should i say a warhammer sci-fi product because it wasn't quite clear there was a lot of speculation could it be necromunda could it be 40k could it be horus heresy um the years have gone by that uh, it's looking like it's more of a 40k product and what we've just had apparently the, uh, in this last couple of uh, months is a focus testing for total wars new fantasy title that happened in August. So basically what happens, they get a lot of people in and they get their feedback on what they would think about a certain product and stuff to see how it fits with that fan base they want to market it to. Um, there's some comments replying in this thread like, the plot thickens. So many rumors pointing to a, fo a 40k total war over the past years. CA hiring um, a writer that worked exclusively on 40k and hiring a vehicle animator. Now this, 2026 uh, 40k Total War, mark my words. I do think, I actually agree with Capital. Um, I don't think this game, if, if they do announce it, it's not going to be next year. It's no way it's going to be in 2025. Earliest 2026 maybe 2027 i know there's a lot of things that have happened at um creative assembler i haven't really been following it that much but i know that there's been some um games being cancelled and they went through a lot of financial troubles and maybe this is going to be the big flagship product now that um brings them back um to the top of the mountain in you know in, like as 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 um, a gaming company and the potential of making a 40k game with creative assembler i think he's massive i know a lot of people are saying total war 40k i'm sure there's a lot of um talk how that could be possible um of course the engine would have to be reworked which again the rumors are pointing to that the engine is being reworked um but it's it's completely not out there that this could not be a total war game it could be something else we just don't know um at this point i'm just excited i'm excited as a fan um, to see where we go. I think with the success of Space Marine 2, a lot of companies now are turning their head towards the 40k IP. They know if that they make a game that is true to the law, that the fans love, that the fans will buy it in massive. Space Marine 2 has already proved that. So yeah, why not give us some amazing brand new Warmer 40,000 games? We've spent too long in the dark with some mediocre products in the 40k license IP when it comes to video games. I think now is the time to unleash the true glory of what the 40k IP um, holds. I'm massively looking forward to see what goes on now in um, the coming years, um, probably towards the end of this year, definitely going on to next year. Really, really excited and uh, yeah. Fingers crossed we get like a little teaser trailer or something like that. It's it's a brilliant time, um, I personally think, to be a 40k fan um, at this moment. Anyway, 
Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching as always. If you've got any thoughts, feedback, anything like that, post it down below and we can have a nice little chin wag down there as we always do. See you now. Have a great day and bye-bye.